Today on the channel from the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith line, we've got a clone commander and a clone trooper. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our weekly Star Wars unboxing and review in 2022 and possibly beyond. And today on the channel, from the Revenge of the Sith line, I'm not sure if we've unboxed one of these yet. We might have done one or two, uh, but we're getting deep into it. I just unboxed my case full of these. We're going to start doing some Revenge of the Sith line figures on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss one of these. But today we're taking a look at a clone trooper and a clone commander, no strangers to the Star Wars ranks. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So clone trooper, clone commanders, no stranger to the Star Wars universe. You need these army builders. I have a pretty big setup I'm currently working on of clone commanders, clone troopers, clone soldiers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we'll see that hopefully here in March or so with the action figure tour of my whole house and my collection. So you don't want to miss that one either. So let's do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging, talk about it, unbox it, talk about it. See where we go from there. We're going to start it off with the old clone commander. Leader goes first, I guess. Number 33, the old Larry Bird of the Revenge of the Sith collection. Very similar to how I'm the Larry Bird of action figure collecting. Uh, so yeah, there you go. we got some things in common. But there it is. Very interesting packaging on these. Uh, some people like them. Some people do not. Uh, I did have all the ones I bought. I have this entire set. They all came in protective cases. So I have all these extra protective cases. Not sure what I'm going to do with those exactly. Uh, but it's an awkward shaped packaging for sure. But it does look really cool with the big Darth Vader helmet. The lava, of course, down below. Big Star Wars graphics in orange. What's that say? Battle gear included. Beautiful glamour shot there. Number 33 on the side. The old Larry Bird. Uh, very cool packaging here, but very interesting packaging at the same time. On the back, look at that big cross cell down there. They're promoting everything under the sun. Warnings, UPCs as well. You got a little glamour shot, another glamour shot up top. Very small blurb, but I appreciate a blurb anytime we get one. Let's see what it says about the old clone commander. An elite officer in the clone army, the clone commander leads a squad of clone troopers into battle against the Separatist forces. He wears special armor similar to that worn by ARC troopers. Well, good for him. Good for him. Uh, collect these other awesome characters. So there's a lot to collect, as there always is with Star Wars. Three and three force line. Uh-oh, rookie mistake on the unbox there. But you got to go through the bottom on these. I almost forgot. Pull him out. There it is. See you later. Get out of here. And then we got a little cross cell. We'll take a look at that here in a second. How about the old plastic prison? There he is, the old clone commander. This looks like a very solid figure. A lot of accessories with this one for sure. Uh, we do get the cross-sell pamphlet. I always love these, of course, especially when you're a kid collecting. You save these, you check them off, and you're like, oh, okay, I think I'm going to get that Wookiee. I'm going to get old Wookiee Rage Chewbacca next. But Yoda, that one's gripping my heart. And you sit there and you internally battle with yourself. We got the Boga with the Obi-Wan Kenobi. I need that lizard. Hopefully I pick that one up one of these days. They're just promoting everything under the sun. Beautiful. I think this is another lost art in toys these days. See you later. But as we all know, little kids, they always push kids. Hey, scan this. Go to your iPad. That's the way of the future. But it's not as fun. I think we'd all agree there. Or at least people that watch my videos would agree. It's not as fun going to your iPad. I want, I want something in hand. Uh, but let's get these weapons out of here. There's a lot going on. A lot going on here, actually. What are we doing? There's a lot of tape going on, too, apparently. Come on. What are we doing? We got tape. We got all, all kinds of fun stuff. How am I supposed to get this out? Let's see. You got to be smarter than the, the rope and the chain and everything else. Pull that out. A lot going on here. See you later. Goodbye. So he looks like an ARC Trooper, but he's got red. I can't remember. I was thinking ARC Troopers had the blue tint to him, but that might be 501st Legion. I don't know. It all runs together on these Troopers. Uh, bless anybody out there that knows all their Troopers by heart. I just... I'm not that invested, I guess. I, I don't know. I thought this was going to be a soft goods uh, little skirt going on here, but it is not. It is plastic. He does have uh, the spots on his side, so you can holster his weapons. Always appreciate being able to holster those weapons. Good red and white lines throughout. Very clean. Clone Trooper helmet with the blue on the side. Always love that. The visor does come down. Uh, that is really good look as well. Very, very cool here. Good articulation. You got nice ankle articulation, knee articulation, legs go up and down, power of the force style, waist. 
not much on the waist, really nothing on the waist. You got elbows, you got wrists that move, you got the head, of course, that moves. So you got enough movement for a three and three four style figure, at least where I'm sitting, which as you guys know is right here. Uh, we get another identical blaster gun here, so I'm gonna put that one in the holster, that way it'll never be lost. Never be lost, and I'll probably put the other one in the holster as well. And then you got the big clone uh, trooper rifle here. Big one right there, big old blaster. And then he's got some interesting weapons that I'm not sure of. I'm not even sure what this is. I, I don't know if this is supposed to represent something uh, or exactly what this is, but you got kind of a grappling hook, two-sided grappling hook right here. So I guess he can climb mountains, do whatever he needs to do. Uh, it escapes me the reason for this. And then this thing, I'm not sure. It looks just like a handle. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this recoiled uh, to show two versions of the same weapon, but I'm not exactly sure what this would be, but... It's cool enough, I guess, but I'm, I'm cool enough with the two uh, pistols here and the long range weapon. Uh, those look the best one on this one. Uh, and then of course he has his big shoulder guard and shoulder, shoulder pads, shoulder, shoulder pads. There you go. Good enough. Uh, but a good one. You guys need the troopers. You need the clone commanders to lead the troopers. So this guy fits a lot of, a lot of check boxes out there for the majority of people. And we all know clone trooper mania running wild in 2022, just like it was running wild in uh, the early 2000s. So there you go. Now we turn our attention to more clones as we talk Clone Trooper, number six in the line here. Number six, and there he is, the old Clone Trooper. Glamour shot, Star Wars logo, quick draw action. So he's got some gimmick to him. We'll see if that works very well. You got the lava flame background. You got Darth Vader's helmet, of course. The number six on the side. On the back, we got that cross cell. We got the blur. We got the glamour shots. We got a lot of fun, as usual. So let's see what it says about the old Clone Trooper here. Clone troopers are genetically engineered soldiers that are the Grand Army of the Republic. They are sent throughout the galaxy to fight the droid armies that belong to the Separatist forces. That is very true. Squeeze legs together for quick draw action. Oh boy, it's like the wild, wild west here. Like I said, you gotta go through the bottom on these. Seem to be the best uh, shot of attack going on. Pull it out. Got that cross cell, same thing. See you later Spider-Man style. See you later up high off the roof. And there it is, a little glamour shot action, a little plastic prison. Now we got a little accessories here. I'm not sure exactly what this is either. Are these taped in? Of course they're taped in. Why would they not be? Pull these out. There it is. There it is. There it is. And see you later. Goodbye. All right, we got two weapons here. Very weird, gangly looking figure. Uh, just, I don't know. I guess you gotta, I feel like you have to always, with the long blaster, you have to like turn the arm in because it just looks so strange. And it's gonna look really strange when you do the quick draw action. Boom, boom, boom. It just, he couldn't do that. It doesn't even go up right. Definitely gonna switch the hands on these two weapons. I do got a little bit of extra color where we, it's all black weapon on the commander. He's got a little brown here, brown here on the end. And then of course you got the blaster here. Uh, and it's your typical clone trooper, all in white, you know, a little bit black accents throughout. Same articulation as the clone commander, except you do have the gimmick feature. You got a lot more shoulder range on this one. But I don't know, gimmicky, I don't know, it's okay. It, it does work without the gimmicks, of course. You can't just have it him be who he is. I think I'm going to put this one in here. And I think that looks a lot better for the quick draw and the smaller blaster. I think that just makes more sense. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Are these shoulder pads for this guy or whoa and we're throwing them around we're losing them i just don't understand why they put things like this in that you can't even see in the package and then you're confused like what is this for what is this exactly oh it is it's exactly what i thought it is it's the shoulder pad so why wouldn't you have this on them in the package i wonder i find that to be kind of strange i don't know and then this one hmm so you can have two different shoulder pads. This one is not removable on the right side. The left side, you can add a plain one or one with black. I guess if I'm going to choose, I'm going to put the one with the star. Just to, why wouldn't you, I guess? It, a little bit more detail never hurt anybody. Um, so let's switch that out. I don't know. Very, a little strange, I think. I don't understand the, the thought process of not having these just come on the figure. Wouldn't that be a lot easier? I don't know. It is what it is, though. It's an army builder. This isn't uh, Han Solo or Luke Skywalker or Admiral Akbar that leads the front of your display. This is just a trooper in the background. That's where he'll be, even with his gimmick nature. So it's all right for me. Both of these 
get a seal of approval for me. For what they are, they do the job well. But what do you think? Do they do the job well for you? Did you have these? Did you buy any of the Revenge of the Sith figures back in the day? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you hit up the old notification bell when you're subscribing. Give this video the old thumbs up. And then, of course, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. So for the Clone Trooper and the Clone Trooper Leader, I am Kyle, Commander. I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon. Pew, 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 pew.